Jared Poland, Fronos Photo dot com, and welcome to another photo of the month time to vote video. That's right, it's the time to vote video. I don't know why I call it the time to vote video, but it is the top 11 from the photo of the month theme, which was anything but people. I wanted to do something different this month, and that's why it was anything but people. It's open to so many different interpretations, just don't have a person in it. And that's really that. So I'm back to picking the top as many photos as I want to pick. In this case, I picked 11. I have a honorable mention slash critique part of the video coming up again and maybe there will be some animal talk I don't know we'll see what happens but let's go to the top 11 uh, the prize I'm gonna go ahead and give away some Adorama picks credit why don't I give away a two hundred dollars in credit that sounds about good you can get a nice metal print a nice aluminized print for that because I have a ton of credit stocked up with these guys so I'm gonna give away two hundred dollars to the winner uh, that you guys get to vote for let's take a look at the top 11 we've got Avd. Beacon, Avda Beacon. I just, I just loved the bokeh in this photo, and I like how it's muted. You know, I do like a lot of contrast, but this goes the other way, and it has a feel to it that just makes it feel soft and inviting. With all the light coming in from the background, it didn't need to be overly boomified. You see that, everybody? I like images that aren't always boomified, and that's the point. You never know what you're going to like. This is a cool photo. I like the dragonfly or two, if there's two of them there. I don't know if they're having sex or what they're doing. Ha! Oh, I'm a dragonfly, and I'm going to have sex with you. And it's just like, no, you're not. And then he's like, yes, I am. I will bite your head off. Okay, next photo. We've got Caesar 24. There was just something about the color and then this, then this marble. And just the feel of it was awesome. And that's why I picked it for the top 11. It kind of has that um, uh, men in black feeling, you know, that the, the galaxy or the universe is around uh, what, Orion's belt or whatever it was called. I guess it was Orion's belt. And it's kind of like that. It's just hanging there. And you want to know more about it. Look at how that bokeh disappears. Really smooth, really nice. Not sure if it's done digitally, but it looks really good. That's why it's in the top 11. Then we've got Dave Gar 5. There was just something about the sunflower. One, I am a sunflower seed master. Uh, I was showing Meg this the other day that I put a whole wad of sunflower seeds in my mouth and put it in my cheek and eat one at a time. They call that a cedar, if you like David sunflower seeds. But I loved the color. There's just something about the feel, again, of this image that exudes some kind of an emotion of being outside, that this is a beautiful day. I want to be there in this field to be near this sunflower. That is why that's there in the top 11. We got Dozer 1. Just a really nice reflection of the cannon. I love how it's composed. So it has the bottom of it there with a little bit of room. It has the top of it here, and it's not centered perfectly. This isn't right in the middle. The bokeh looks great. It just was a good answer to the solution. It popped out. It caused me to think, and that's why it's here. Johnny number seven. Johnny number seven. I am Johnny number five's replacement. We skip Johnny number six. Um, beautiful. Beautiful light. Beautiful tones, nice, warm feeling, great lines. It's nice and straight. I really love what's going on in this image. Just feels very nice, beautiful. That's why you're in the top 11. We've got J.R. Lamb photos. Just a cool shot of the, uh, it's a horse, not a donkey, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm a horse. I'm not a jackass. I'm a, not a donkey either. <laughs> But it's just cool. It's such a backlit image. But it's, it, it reminds you that it's either early, early morning or just about before the sun's going down. But I get a feeling that it's early morning. The sun is rising. The horse is coming out to pasture. You're not going to milk it because you don't milk horses. You don't mil milk donkeys either. But it just felt like a good image and it deserved to be here. It's because this eye is right here underneath. And if it was blocked, it probably wouldn't be as good, but nice job. We've got JZHiran11. This is still anything but people because it's a car. I don't see the person in the car. That's why it's here. Very creative. Whether this is an actual panning shot or not, I really like this shot. The movement that you feel, the background is not distracting. The light here, which may be a fake, may be fake, but doesn't matter it's picked here i think it works for anything but people nice job then there's carlson for some reason it just it looks like that this flower is laying there basking in the sun i couldn't tell it's like 
Am I really high up in the sky and this is a person just laying there with the hands behind their head? That is the feel that I got with this image. When an image can exude some kind of emotion or elicit a response, that is when you've done a good job as a photographer because it makes you think and it makes you want to know more. Then we've got Crowjack. Just the processing alone of this image makes it awesome. Just the, the way that it's nice and sharp from the front to the back of this, uh, to, to the ball being here. I guess it says Bally's. It just looks really good. It just feels good. And it's the, it's the processing that probably took this image to the next level because I can guarantee, almost guarantee, that the color version wouldn't have been any good. We've got Matt Payne 11 again. I believe he said this was a stitched image. I believe it was six images put together, but this is fantastic. The question, though, is it anything but people because maybe out there in one of these stars or galaxies there's a person or a being or something? Well, yeah, they would be aliens, thus not being people. Thumbs up. Uh, then the last one here is Tamisa Dickin. When you see shots like this, Generally with ladybugs, you see them on the grass, you see them on green things, but fantastic shot. Look at the depth of field. Just This is interesting. It's just very interesting how it's very shallow here. I don't know how it was done because I'm, I'm interested to see why this is here. You would normally feel that the depth of field would extend out along the same plane. Excuse me, my phone is ringing. It's Meg. I will call her back in a minute when I finish this, finish this up. But this just... I love the feel of this image. It's the red popping on the the gray of the shot. It just it, it just works well, and I love the feel of it. So these are your top 11 for the photo of the month. It is now up to you guys to go ahead and give it a vote to determine who is going to win. You get to vote for one person. They're going to win an Adorama Pix credit for 200 bucks for whatever they would like to use it for. Don't forget to tweet it, like it, stumble it, tumble it, Reddit, mm, Reddit, uh, Google Plus it, and pin it if that is so what you choose to want to do. And that is what we have for the photo of the month theme, go ahead and vote when you can. And coming up right now is a little bit of a critique McCritikerson. Be right back. So here we go with the critique McCritikerson portion and the honorable mention type thing. I just thought that this looked well, looked good, not well, good. Uh, it just, good. You know, it was anything but people at fit. I just thought it worked. And that's why it's here sitting on this perch. Nice composition, nice out of focus area, but nice and focused on the Birdie McBurderson. This has a nice focus on the beer. I guess it's a beer in a wine glass or whatever, a goblet, whatever you want to call it. Nice selective focus. It looks good. It's just not, say, strong enough to be, uh, this is the critique part. This is not strong enough to have made it to the top 11. Maybe if the sun was setting into the beer or something, but it, it, it's just too plain. It's good, but it's a little too plain. So the reason this is here is for a critique. A lot of times when you see pictures of watches, you see that the hands are in the same place. They are always at uh, two, ten to two, 10 and 2. They're like this, because that centers the portion of the watch. That is usually where you see the watch uh, at when you see pictures. Take a look at that. You're going to see 10 and 2 where the watch hands are. That is where it tends to be when you are uh, shooting pictures of watches. Uh, I like the color of this, but again, it's, it's a little too close to the edge for my liking. Uh, I like all the bokeh and the out-of-focus areas. It looks good, but that's the critique. Uh, we've seen shots like this a lot before. This is okay. Um, I love the processing. The, the, the processing's beautiful. I love how that's done. I just want a little bit more out of an image like this. I don't, I, I don't know what else I would like to see out of it. Just something a little bit more. Maybe a wider shot. Maybe, I don't know, just something different. Uh, so the reason I have this shot in here is because this, there's two from the same photographer. This one is done well. Great composition. Very, very good looking shot. From the angle, it is great. Rule of thirds, just everything about it works well. And then they went ahead and did this shot. Do you see the difference? How this is a snapshot and this is a photograph. This just works. This doesn't work. Squirrel! Ah! What the hell is that? Hey, they said that this is a flying squirrel. Uh, and I like this fender shot. I thought it worked well with the... Uh, the, the triptych, this is cool, like it, that you got the fender right here, 
that one thing it says fender you got the knobber mcnobberson and then you have the frets and the pickups down here i'm oh, sorry the pickups so somebody doesn't yell at me that looked good and then you have a nice squirrel take i'm gonna hang on you take look at me i can swing around the tree because i'm a squirrel with the bushy tail and then this i just like it I like the processing. I like how the sky was done. Didn't think it was strong enough to be in the top 11, but I did like the feel of it. If it was, if there was more castles and things along those lines, I think it would be a little better. Possibly, if there was less foreground and more sky, we would say cut the foreground here and have more sky going up above. Possibly, it could be a better image. This was interesting. This bug. What the hell is that? Is that a spider eating a fly? That is freaking crazy. Look at the eyeballs on that thing. Beautiful, though. Nice colors, nice macro, really nice shot. The ladybug image, the, the exposure's way off. Uh, I was just critiquing it that, that, that it's just too over, uh, sorry, underexposed. I want to see it a little more bright, uh, some more vibrance here. Pull back on the exposure slider. It's going to tighten it up and give you a stronger image. I know Kill Kenny Cat's going to like the Volkswagen bugs. Can you believe that front window's open? That's pretty cool. I like the uh, the processing. Really nice job there. It just felt good, but didn't feel like it was worthy of being in the top 11. It, though, is an honorable mention. Uh, this is cool, too. like the composition. I think it's a little too tight and too close to the edge over here, but I like I love straight down shots like that. And we're back to the birdie McBurderson. So that is what you guys have. Please vote for the top 11. You get to vote for one of them to help them win that $200 in print credit from Adorama Picks. And I'll just drop this little mention in here. If you are local or looking to take a trip to Allen's Camera on September 21st, 2013, from around 11 to 4, there's going to be Nikon's Allen's Palooza. That's right, Nikon Allen Zapalooza at Allen's Camera, September 21st. More information coming soon, but there's going to be prizes, giveaways, discounts, a lot of cool stuff, and a taco truck. That's right, a taco truck where we will be supplying the first couple hundred people with a free meal, a couple of tacos. So there you have it, guys. That is the photo of the month for the theme, which was anything but people. Please vote Jared Poland. Fronosphoto.com. See ya. Have you subscribed here on YouTube yet? Well, you can do so simply by clicking subscribe inside this red box. Then go over to manage subscriptions, give that a click, and click right next to my name, as well as email me about new uploads. You will receive an email every time I upload a new video. Thank you very much.